So this is a really interesting product in front of me, Purism. Willie Do ordered this up. Then yesterday, Edward Snowden is on Rogan's podcast talking about spying and tech. Basically everything that they could monitor, uh, they were monitoring. It reignites the conversation about how our technology is infiltrating our lives or has the potential to do so. Inside of this box is a laptop targeted with special features to alleviate some of the concern over potentially being spied on. Willie Do showed it to me, so here we go. This is the perfect laptop for Edward Snowden. Inside of this package, I believe is the 13 inch. They also make a 15 inch 1080p display, Core i7-7500U, so it's an Ultrabook, obviously. Up to 32 gigs of RAM, integrated graphics. You can configure it on the website. Up to two terabyte NVMe SSD. You pick the firmware and you pick the operating system. So they have something here called Pure Boot for the firmware, Pure OS for the software. Is it hack proof? Well, nothing really is, but it aims to make the process of infiltration much more difficult. This has a separate wireless card. It has a separate controller for audio, camera, USB, and so forth. Another interest, I don't know if I've ever seen a laptop sealed in a plastic bag when it arrives. Wow, that's very interesting. Okay, it's still slim, and I like how it has no branding. Matte black finish, aluminum, a power brick, and that's it. They keep it super simple for the stealth users. You got a bezel on this baby. That's a bezel on the baby. If this is what you're looking for, you're gonna put up with that. Yeah, it looks pretty sleek. If you're full out living hacker zone, you can live with the bezel. Mm -hmm. hey, what is it? It's a black laptop, that's all I know. What kind of laptop was he using? I don't know, it was black. Yeah. It's very laptop-y. It's exact. You have hardware switches over here for camera and microphone can go off in one click, just like that. Dead, kill switch, electrical cut and then this secondary kill switch for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So this turns off your transmitting radios. Nothing goes in, nothing comes out. You have a headphone jack, USB port, and DC in for charging it. Oh, there's actually a lot of ports on this thing. Over on the other side, another USB port, full-size HDMI, USB Type-C connector, and a full-size SD card slot. And it's three pounds. It's only three pounds. Yes. Lightweight. Keyboard, chiclet style. This key is important. Maybe, Will, you can refresh me. It's a powerful key to search your computer and applications. One button to rule them all. Brown, Fox, duh, quick. Yeah. They, they have a little hacker to them? Little hack. Snowden would go for it? He would approve. This would be legal to do. But we can't tell you why. Trackpad, pretty smooth so far. Look at that. This is how you know you're in. Pure OS, baby. Crypt setup. Wireless networking is disabled. Okay, we turn it on. Well, what about my switch? My switch is off. Now it's on. There we go, I had to turn it on to initiate the connection. The software toggle did nothing until I initiated the hardware toggle. It is running Linux. Oh, okay, it's based on Linux. Privacy warning, location services, allows applications to determine your geographical location. An indication is shown when these services are in use. I'm gonna leave that off for now, okay? We named the device. Set a disk encryption password. You see what I'm saying, Will? It encourages you to be secure. You're a secure individual. Hmm. Guy like you. It's nice onboarding. There it is. You need it to decrypt the disk of this computer. Okay. Shh. It's a big moment right now. Don't lose it, Will. Oh. Don't lose it. We're ready to go. You like that name, Will? Pure OS? It's appropriate. Yeah, Pure. Activities. Ooh, look at that. See a little dock over here? Let's see what the stock browser looks like. Oh, it doesn't load a homepage. It just, it's blank until you do something. It has rules for forced encryption connections for double click Google, Google APIs, services, YouTube. Do you know how secure I am right now? And, you know, of everybody in the United States, anybody you want, if you could pull up their text messages, anybody you want, if you could see anything they've ever typed into that Google search box, right? Joe, what is the worst thing you've ever typed into that search box? 
Well, obviously, it's a pretty typical laptop speaker. If you're this super private individual, you're probably wearing these earbuds like Snowden is. They've got stuff baked into the browser when you boot it up. This thing called uBlock Origin and HTTPS Everywhere. And when they're enabled, they're blocking all kinds of activities that are happening via the browser from the sites that you're visiting. But they slow things down quite a bit. It's like I was saying to Will, if you got 10 locks on your house, it's gonna be a secure house, but it's also gonna take you 10 times as long to come and go. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of people, they put some sort of a sticker over the webcam if they're nervous. The switch is obviously the best implementation. When I click the switch off, Let's see if the camera goes off in the software. Three, two, one, dead. Error playing video from the webcam. That's pretty cool. You have to admit that. So yes. the purism key, let's give that a shot. What happens? Oh, oh, that's cool. So this triggers the same effect as clicking the activities button. So you can hit the purism key and just start searching. You could look for Jack and it'll, it brings up some clocks, some software, but this can look throughout the entire system. So what if I did sound? Yeah, it'll bring up the sound settings. That's pretty fast too. The kill switch for the Wi-Fi, you can see the Wi-Fi up here. So let's make sure that goes dead as well if I click that off. Boom, see the airplane pops up straight away. It's so convenient that I feel like people would actually use it. Mm. Do you? Yes. All right, so there you have it. A very simple, clean type of laptop. It's not gonna win any awards for being the most cutting edge appearance wise, but the core focus here is to give you kind of the, the most secure experience you can have on a streamlined premium looking laptop without the need to do a ton of configuration yourself. You boot this thing up, you do the setup, you have the hardware toggles, you have the pure OS, you have their boot system. It encourages encryption of the drive. It gives you a more secure place to do your do your things, Will. Whatever that happens to be, whether you're Willie Do or Edward Snowden.